Welcome once again to Scorpion Scar Reviews. Today I will be reviewing the Bolivar. This is a Dominican cigar. Kind of, um, I don't want to say rustic looking, but it's uh, rustic looking. Okay, whatever. Um, it, just quite, quite bumpy. You can see the uh, the tobacco bulging from underneath the wrapper. It has uh, some uh, fairly predominant veins. Uh, however, the uh, seams tend to almost disappear. Um, okay. It is a, it looks like a double cap. Nice firm pack. Comes in at a, oh, I would call it like a uh, milk chocolate colored wrapper. A little bit of blotchiness to it, uh, a little bit of unevenness in the color. Um, okay, you know, whatever. The wrapper has a nose. Maybe a slight hint of bread dough in there. General tobacco type flavors, scents. Okay. Foot has some cocoa. So again, the bread dough, a little bit of cedar. Very pleasant. All right. Yeah. I'll be using my Zycar cutter to stamp off the cap. I picked this cigar up at the JNR tobacco outlet. I, I don't remember the price offhand. I actually bought I bought a single, and I also bought a, a three-pack, and, um, and then I commingled them in my humidor, so I, I don't recall which one was which offhand. Um, if I compared them, I'd know which one was different because the single had a slightly different band than the ones in the three-pack did, but uh, whatever. Anywho. Definitely tastes like uh, chili spices on the pre-draw. Some leather. Taste the cedar. Quite good. The uh, really the, the dominant pre-draw character there is is I mean it was like eating a bowl of chili with the the chili beans and all that. Just the whole whole thing, the meatiness. It was like a bowl of chili. Quite good. Okay, so we'll get lit up and take it from there. I think I got it. Not sure I have it quite lit all the way. It's a, a real thin draw. Touch it up a little bit.
much better. Okay, right off the bat, not real potent. It's uh, between a mild to medium body, somewhere in there. Although with each draw, it does seem to be picking up in strength a little bit there. Getting a little bit of white pepper. There's another taste in there, maybe a something, maybe almost along the lines of the glue. All right. Some other things going on, but I'm not able to pick out what they are. They're all melded together. So I'll get somewhere into the first third and I'll be back. Here we are about 15 minutes in. Uh, burn is a, a little bit wavy, not too terribly bad. Seems to be self-correcting. I'm going to go ahead and flip the ash off because it's developing a little bit of a curve in it. Okay, there we go. This first third I'm picking up some uh, minerals, a little bit of earth, a little bit, a um, little bit of white pepper, not a whole lot, some moodiness, slight hint of meatiness, smoke's a little dry, not a whole lot of strength going on. Um, it's not, you know, it's not just a baby, but it's, it's got a little bit of strength there, but not one of those ones that's, you know, going to really knock you down or anything. Just enough strength to let you know you're smoking a cigar. Kind of, you know, middle of the road kind of thing there. So that's good. Um, I used to, I used to smoke the stronger cigars, like the KNFs and that kind of thing. And that was, you know, what I always specifically looked for, although I would always try, you know, everything from, you know, the mild to, you know, everything in between. But um, for me, I found that the really strong cigars, um, the strength tends to overpower any flavors I would get from the cigar. So I've been trying to back it down uh, a little more towards the medium end. Um, and I don't mind a mild cigar as long as the flavors are, are forward and rich and um, you know, easy to pick out. Um, so... Anywho, the cigar uh, seems to be doing it for me. Not, not real strong, but I am getting some fairly forward flavors. Some other stuff coming through I haven't been able to quite pick out yet. It's still opening up. So uh, I'll get somewhere into the second, third, and I'll be Here back. we are, about 40 minutes in. I haven't had to touch it up at all. The burn has been self-correcting. It's pretty straight and even there. The ash is a little bit flaky. I'm going to go ahead and flick it off. A little bit of an effort, but it came off. Didn't want it falling in my lap. Not a whole lot of changes in the flavor profile. With that initial lighting where I tasted something that was almost uh, like a glue it once I got past the uh, the foot and into the first third that glueish type taste disappeared completely a little bit of cedar spice in there slight hint of leather a little bit of uh, Almost a citrus, uh, like the um, slightly bitter, but not not like a grapefruit bitter, but something along those lines. Slight hint of parchment.
There's a meatiness to it. The smoke itself is leaving a, while it's dry, almost a chewiness in the mouth. Once the smoke has been exhaled, you almost feel like you've been chewing on something. Coats the mouth, not, not with a, a creaminess, but a, a dry, almost thick... I, I'm not sure how to describe it, really. But anyway. So far, real pleasant. One thing I'd like to point out that you may have noticed that the uh, camera angle has changed slightly and the reason for that is is when the camera was angled like this if you see over in here where it's got all this white light and it even affects my hand that light's not there and in fact now it's now it's over here more on my, more on my face it's uh, just something with the angle it's uh, camera's doing goofy things, with playing with the light. It's actually a very evenly lit corner here. So uh, I found if I just change my angle a little bit, I managed to get rid of that odd light. So that's why I've done that. Uh, I've, I've noticed in some of my other videos where I sat in this corner of the porch that I had that that light on uh, either on one side of me or on the other, depending on the, the camera angle. And I wasn't sure what to do about it, but it was just a matter of getting the angle of the camera just right to eliminate that. So uh, I believe I've done that. So I'm going to continue smoking this boulevard. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is a Dominican cigar. I wasn't going to remove the band, however, it's... Eh, maybe I'll go ahead and leave it on for now. Ooh, yes, I will leave it on because I'm starting to catch the, the seam. It's, it's on there nice and loose, it's just, it, it'll it spin around on there. So it's not attached with excess glue. Uh, I, I don't foresee any uh, wrapper damage when I do remove it. So I'll come back uh, somewhere in the final third. Here we are. Early on in the final third. The uh, flavors have transitioned to being um, mostly earthy, a little bit musty earthy, some definite woodiness, and a very subtle citrusy note still. A little bit of parchment in there still. Smoke is uh, remaining quite dry. Very pleasant cigar. There's a uh, peppery note coming through the nose. Not, not so peppery that it's, you know, burning and just you know, putting me off or anything like that, but there's a definite pepper note. All right, I'll continue on, get uh, into the nub, and I'll be back. All right, so here we are in the nub, just about 90 minutes. Starting to warm up a little bit. Starting to soften ever so slightly, but it's still actually pretty firm. Picking up a, a little bit of a cinnamon type character to it. A little more pepper. I've lost the leather and the woodiness. For the most part, it's like I said, cinnamon and pepper. Um, it's pleasant. It was a nice change. Uh, this was the first time I. Um, 
uh, brought on the uh, that this brought on the cinnamon character. So I'll end this here, saying that this boulevard, um, and there are, you know, several styles of boulevard, and and I'm sorry, I don't know which one this is in particular. Um, that's my, the one thing that I find kind of annoying with many of the cigar manufacturers is they'll just simply put their name on the band. They won't say, well, this is the you know, Bolivar, you know, whatever. Um, there are some that, uh, you know, like, uh, well, if some will say, oh, this is the Thunder, or this is the, uh, you know, like, like a lot of the Gurkhas, they'll say, this is the status, or, or whatever. Um, many cigar brands don't, don't put that on their label. Um, I don't know if they just expect you to just know or, or what the deal is. Um, but whatever. I don't know which boulevard this is. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm not that versed in the many cigars that are out there. And there are many, many cigars out there. So, uh, for those brands out there that don't Put on the label, or maybe a secondary label, saying specifically what this cigar is. I'm not saying you have to write the size on it or the shape or anything like that, but what are you calling this particular cigar? There was no outer packaging that said it. Um, so if you have a, often even when you go to your tobacconist and you walk into the humidor and they'll just have all these cigars laid out. If it doesn't say on the cigar, often you don't know exactly which one it is. Um, sometimes it will say on the box, but uh, often often they're not displayed in their boxes. Uh, so uh, with that, I'm left with only knowing that this is Bolivar and that it's Dominican. They wrote Dominican on the wrapper, Dominicana, actually. That tells me it's Dominican. But, uh, or on the label, I mean. That's my only pet peeve with this particular cigar, as with many. So I thank you for once again watching Scorpion Cigar Reviews. I'll see you next time.